what's up guys welcome to my channel and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to print to thermal receipt printers with electron gels so for this tutorial we will be using the package electron pos printer if you're not familiar with it you can check it out on npm gels as i am here or you check it out on my github there you're going to see it plus the code and it's actually open source so feel free if you want to contribute to this project all right so let's get started so i created an empty node.js project where in this location and um, in your project you can go ahead and install install electron i'm not going to install that because already i already have it installed and now you install the npm electron us printer okay once you have, once you have this installed i'm going to go ahead and create an empty index.js file right and now we're going to have to write this prayer uh, electron good and now what i'm doing is i'm creating an empty browser window voila so let me add that on ready yes function and now we're just going to say when it's equals to new browser window let's create a browser window width of 600 let's say 650 and a height of Out of 450. Okay, so basically, I just created a new Electron browser window. You can check Electron docs on how to create this, the documentation on how to create this. All right, so in my package of JSON, I will create a start script. Sorry. Electron. Good. So this is done. Now let's load. Let's create a source directory, and in this directory, I'm going to create an index.html file. What's up? Excuse me, guys. Let me delete this. Um, I don't know why that didn't work out. Okay, so index.html. HTML. All right. So yeah, I'm just going to say win dot load you erase file. Erase file. Let's see that index HTML. Now I want to open my open dev tools. Okay. So in this index HTML, we write HTML five. And yeah, I'm going to put some basic style. Fuzzy. Background color white. Right? 100%. We 100%. Alright. So, we're going to create a button that's going to start the print process. So, I'll screen button print. Right. And now I'll create a script at the bottom of the page that's going to contain our JavaScript code. So I run a function called it prints. Okay, it's a print capital P. It's a print print data. And I'm going to require a PC render PC render render from Excuse me, guys. Electro. Okay. Okay, so normally, guys, this is going to give a hard error. This is going to cause a hard error. So, to solve this problem, I'm going to come to my index of JS and I'm going to add web preferences. Sorry. No integration. True. So, what this does is it permits us to use in the JS environment in the render process. 
So now that is done, now let's construct our data object, data array or object, whatever. Okay. Now let's take a look at the docs. If I come over here, as you can see, this is a sample data object. You see, it's an array of it's an array of objects with specific types as this is type image. This is type text and corresponding values part, position, the width, the height. So if we scroll to the bottom of the page, we can see the print that the print data object. These are all the available properties for this object. The type, as you can see the available types right here. So I advise you guys to check out the documentation. Going back to our code. And see this is type text. Value. Oh, Excuse me, guys. Sample. Print. Okay. Now, where to the star? Okay. There are two ways to to style a text. As you can see, I can specify a style, or I can specify a CSS with object and value with the property property here and the value or key and key and value as you like so I'm just going to use style here and I'll say the font size should be 16 px pixels pixels color okay now as type text, we have type um, barcode, type QR code. Well, I'm just going to copy this barcode and QR code, and I paste it here. Guys, you can always check the documentation for all available options. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Okay, so we'll have to send this. Oops. Print and get some stringify data. All right, all right. So let's call this function once the button is clear. Oh. Guys, I really apologize for my typing errors. So basically. Once this button is clicked, this function is going to be fired and it's going to send this data to the main process. Okay, so in our main process, I'm going to require IPC main and then IPC main dot on print. Oh. Okay. Argument. Now let's check our data which was sent from the main process. I'm going to JSON the base argument. Alright. Now we need to require the post printer from the electron post print package. So I'll just write this also require electron post printer. Printer. Okay. All right. So now we are going to print. I will specify the data, and now the second parameter is the object is um the options print the options. So if I go to the documentation right there, that's at the bottom of the page. You can see printing options. These are all the available properties for this object. You can see copies, preview, width, margin, printer name, timeout per line, salad. Guys, check out the documentation for the full for the full details. So yeah, I'm going to precise printer name X P C minus eighteen. Um, silent. True. Preview. Preview. True. Okay. 
and now I'm going to catch this error. Oh no, error console error. error. Okay, so I created I created a script by the start to start the electron up. So I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go ahead and in my terminal I run npm start. Okay, here is our electron up. So let's click on print. Okay, guys, as you can see, this is the text. We yeah, this is the text, and this is the value. We set the style to 16 pixels, and the color of this this green color. So guys, as you can see, it works, and we have uh, the the barcode and the QR code. And guys, display false if I set display to true for the barcodes. Uh, I'll, I'll refresh this. And if I print, voila! As you can see, the value displays below the below the barcode. So okay, guys, that's basically how to do it. So let's head on to the options. These are the options. The documentation. So I want to talk precisely about preview. By default, preview is set to false. So if preview is set to true, the the document will be rendered in a window instead of being printed by the printer. So if you want to print the printer directly, make sure preview is set to false. But by default, preview is false. All right, guys, that is it for this video. And in the next video, I'll be talking about how to how to print how to render images and tables as you can see so guys thanks for watching please let me know what you think in the comments and see you in the next video